We have been learning that O, A makes the O sound. When two vowels are walking, the first vowel does the talking and the second keeps on walking. So when we see O, A and we're reading a word, we're going to read it as O. So what we're going to do is we're going to practice reading some sentences together and then you're going to do that on your own. I put on my and right here I see O, A. So when I come to that, I'm going to say O, K, O, T, coat, to ride in the, and I see O, A again, B, O, T. So I'm going to reread that to make sure it makes sense. I put on my coat to ride in the boat. So when I saw O-A, I read it as O. The soap. Soap will clean the mud off of the g -o -t goat. So when I saw O-A, I went O. And when I saw O-A in the word soap, I read it as O. So let me reread that whole sentence to make sure it makes sense. The soap will clean the mud off of the goat. Okay, here is my next sentence. And when I see O-A, I'm going to read it as O. The o -ed road was very bumpy. And that makes sense because a road can be very bumpy. Okay, I'm going to do this, read this sentence and when I say C-O-A, I'm going to read it as O. The t -oed toad jumped into the r -oed road. Watch out! So what I did as a reader was, when I saw O-A, I read it as O. So when you do your own reading, when you see O-A, I want you to read it as O. So now what you're going to do is click on the PowerPoint and you're going to practice reading the sentences that I just read and some other ones.